welcome back to another exciting episode. Today we're going to go up Cadillac Mountain, which is in Arcadia National Park in Maine. So come along with us and see what we can see. At the time of our visit, reservations were $6 per vehicle and you can book a sunrise or a daytime ticket. Continue on Cadillac Summit Road for three miles. We decided on a daytime ticket since sunrise was very foggy during uh, most of the days we were in Maine. Unfortunately, it was still foggy <laughs> during our uh, daytime ticket. But the tickets you have to get two days in advance, so plan ahead. Now to be clear, this is in addition to the park entrance pass that you must pay ahead of time and have displayed on your windshield before you go up Cadillac Mountain. From 1883 until 1893, the Green Mountain Cog Railway ran to the summit to take visitors to the Green Mountain Hotel. Now the hotel burned down in 1895 and the cog train was sold and moved to the Mount Washington Cog Railway in New Hampshire. There are various hiking trails and a paved road that lead to the summit of Cadillac Mountain. Going to the summit to see the first sunrise in the continental U.S. is a common activity. However, Cadillac only experiences the first sunrise from October 7 through March 6. The scenic summit road officially opened in 1931. It meanders along the north and eastern side of the mountain for approximately three and a half miles, which is about five and a half kilometers, until it reaches the top. Now there are several small observation points along the roadway that offer some prime viewing opportunities, if it's not foggy, <laughs> and it takes advantage of them on the way up as well on the way back down because there's only one road, which is Summit Road. Now it's easy to get caught up in the views while driving, but be sure to remain attentive as much of the road is right beside a very steep cliff. And also exercise caution when getting in and out of the vehicle as this can be a well-traveled road during the summer and autumn months. In some of those blind turns, you'll probably get hit if you don't uh, find a nice pull-off area. Now at the top, there are handicapped parking spots. persons to go up and view a little more of the top. That's nice. Just like in Boy Scouts, they do ask you to leave no trace, so please be kind. Now this is the highest point on Cadillac, and you can see there's plenty of parking and a lot of history to peruse. Now, unfortunately, we were here on a very foggy, cold, damp, rainy day, but on a nice clear day you can see for miles. Now the trails do go back a surprisingly long way. I mean, we're not talking miles here, but pretty good path. Now, most of that extended path is not handicapped accessible. There are a lot of steps. But if you're able to do so, take the walk. On a clear day, I'm sure it's quite scenic. Okay. 